Hi, I'm Peter Christoph. I'm a software engineer on the graphics team at Microsoft, and I'd like to present you our latest addition to the DirectX ray tracing samples that are open source and available to you on the samples GitHub repo, namely the real time denoise ray traced ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion can significantly improve the realism of render 3D scenes as it approximates amount of indirect lighting reaching a surface. A surface lit with such dynamic indirect lighting provides us with more cues about its shape and placement among the other objects and therefore resulting in a visually more convincing look. It essentially gives a 3D scene more depth and placement. It is a popular effect used in games that is done either via offline pre-baking it as a texture, limiting it to static objects, or screen space approximations which, albeit fast, can suffer because of limited geometry data available in screen space. Computing ambient occlusion term is a visibility sampling problem that you can directly solve via ray tracing. Similarly to other sampling problems, a lot of rays can be required to get a noise-free image, and that can get expensive. In this case, the image on the screen used 256 rays per pixel, taking 170 milliseconds on an RTX 2080 Ti. For a modern AAA game engine with all sorts of other graphics passes required to render final frame, a cost of 1 to 2 milliseconds is much more realistic and acceptable budget in a frame. The solution to this is to ray trace at very low sample rate and then denoise the output getting close to the ground truth. Since the error result is composited with many other graphical layers and textures in a typical game, trading some visual quality for performance can be perfectly fine, with many times zero visual impact on the final render of a game. The remainder of the video shows a few sequences explaining and demonstrating the denoising technique implemented in the sample. The sequences are rendered at 4K, that's both uh, G-buffer data generation as well as composition at the end. The ray tracing and denoising paths are done at quarter resolution at 1080p, which is a standard practice to do. And the ray tracing of the AO is done at one sample per pixel. It was all captured on NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti.
And that's all. You can download the sample from the GitHub repo and check out the samples page for more details on the implementation. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. And thank you for watching.